Hello everyone, this is Sancho Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man Homecoming Target Exclusive uh, Vulture. So let's go over to packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top, Spider-Man Homecoming logo here, Marvel's Vulture. Here is the side art of Vulture. Here is the back with Vulture with the details. Marvel Legends logo here, and then you get the sense of scale for the wingspan. Here's the other side. Here is the top with the Spider-Man uh, MCU logo there. And then here's a bit, uh, bomb with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Vulture out of the package here. So uh, we're just going to go over the uh, accessories itself first. So we'll hold off from the vehicle stuff until we get the uh, figures, uh, accessories, and looks for them on there. And then we'll go over the vehicle and put them together and go over the articulation of the vehicle and we'll do a comparison with the last vulture that we got which was a builder figure from 2017 i believe so uh yeah let's go over the accessories for this so first you get these like controller pieces here you get this metallic like green here you get the gun metal here this is the uh piece that you have him holding on his hand uh the last one didn't have these pieces so i like this quite a bit more detailed and you can see that there's a little bit of screw de uh, sculpting there. And then here you get the other part of the controller piece here, but this goes onto his arm. Um, so yeah, you get some more of that metallic green going on there. Then on this part, and then you get the silver. I like the sculpt here. And you get a little opening there so you can bend his elbow. So yeah, you get two of those. And then here we also get his visors which you just clip onto his face. It's a clear plastic. Uh, might as well show you how to do that real quick, actually. So I think it's supposed to go on there like that. Yep, and just kind of just clips on there, and yeah. So next we'll just go over the figure, and then we'll do the, um, build of, I mean, the vehicle stuff. So here is his helmet. So this is a new sculpt, I believe, uh, because the last one, it came with the visors attached to it, actually. So you get this like hose here that kind of goes into his torso. No, in the back of his helmet, actually. And you get this nice matte black here. You get some more of that camouflage looking green. You get, that, you get some silver in there. You get the green glowing eyes there. I love the sculpt of it. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a vulture, actually, without the visor on there. And then here you got his jacket and uh, like clamps for him to be attached to his uh glider so yeah you get this nice matte like leather brown here and you get this fur piece here for the hood uh you get this nice tan here with some brown for the detailing and then you get that uh piece here to harness for him to be attached to the uh glider like i said you get that metallic green in there you get that camouflage green there and he gets this nice silver de uh, sculpting here. And you get a peg hole for him to get plugged into the glider. And then you get brown gloves. You get some gold buckles for there. And you get a belt here with that uh, like metallic green there with the camouflage. And then you get the, like, I guess, I don't know what you would call this, um, like an exoskeleton for the legs. Um... And you get this nice sculpt through that. I love the paint on this. You get that camouflage green pants. You get that uh, knee pads here that kind of look like there's scrap metal just kind of like put together. And then it looks like um, they're pi they're pinless. These are sculpted onto the figure, so this is cool. I like this a lot. And then you get the boots here, silver boots or gunmetal gray boots uh, with the claws for the feet which I also like a lot. And these things don't articulate. I wish it, I wish these kind of articulated just so you can have him look like he's like clamped onto Spider-Man. And he brings him up and you can have him like smashing Spider-Man onto the ground or something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a really cool figure. And you get the straps here for the exoskeleton to be more secure onto his legs. Uh, next, we'll go over the articulation for this guy. So he has a disc 
I think he has a disc, yeah, disc ball joint head, so you can hinge down that far, up that far, left and right. A little head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, still pinned in. This is an older sculpt here. And then wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that much, backwards that much. He has a waist swivel that rotates 360. Legs could kick out that far, but he can't really kick as, as far as usual because of the S piece. Forward quite a bit, backwards none. Uh, you got thigh cut there. It's kind of tough to do that for a second. You got double jointed knees. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And while I'm at it, might as well show you how to put these pieces on there. So I already went over this guy, the visors. And then for the hand pieces, so you want to pop off the hands actually. Do that. Slide these guys on there like that. Pop his hand back in like that. And then have him hold one of these. Oh shit. All right, a little off camera work real quick. His hands are a little tight. There we go. And then do the same thing on the other side. Pop that back in. Off camera work real quick so I could get the thing on them. And have them hold on to the controls. And then boom. That's what it looks like with those on. I really like that actually. And then you can still articulate the elbows, but this kind of looks weird. So I'd say keep it straight and maybe have him have his wing, uh, like his arms out if you're gonna have him look like he's flying. But yeah, that's the figure. So next let's build the glider. So here we get this piece here, um, which is already built. Um, these pieces were separate pieces for each figure uh, in the wave. And I like the paint job on this here. Uh, I guess I might as well show you, I might as well put them together actually first. So this, I believe you should have like a piece or something that should tell you if it's a left or right. This looks like it's a right. So it's the right wing. So it should go on this side like that. Just kind of clip it on there. I'm glad I, and they released another one of these because my last one, my brother and sister kind of broke the glider a little bit with this piece if you twist it it kind of just messes it up and gets messed up so yeah just don't do that please <laughs> so i'm happy about this and i'll have this in the main mcu villain figure shelf whereas the other one i'll probably just have in the extra mcu villain shelf so yeah that's what it looks like there and then we'll do the other side and they're kind of hatchet gears, so it'll be more secure when you're articulating them. Whereas the other one, I think my, my hatchets for the gear pieces here, they kind of got worn down, so they're a little loose. But as you can see, they're not going to go down. This part is kind of loose, so I mean, it's still a hatchet, but it's, it's a little loose, like I said. And then this flip this over like this pop this guy in there on this piece boom these are also a hatchet so shouldn't be that bad and then we'll go with this guy I could do that there we go and then boom that's the glider here. So let's just go over the looks for it real quick and then we'll go over the articulation. So you got a peg here, this plugs into his back, like I said. The sculpting is the same exact sculpting and the articulation is the same exact articulation, but I didn't do a review on it. So I'll obviously do this. Uh, for mine, I usually like it like this, where it's like a W uh, M shape instead of like a V because it, it, does, it does not take as much room. But I kind of like this look. Kind of looks like bat, uh, like a bat kind of. Um, so yeah, this is the other side. The greens are matte, and the black or gray is. And then for the the actual turbines here, last ones they were gray, 
Whereas these are blue, which I think I like this a lot more just because I think it is more accurate to the movie. And then you get these thrusters here and you get the light blue, goes down to purple. And then, yeah. And then you got all this like tech, um, like sculpting around it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. You get the pointy feather details here. And then, yeah, let's go over the articulation over it. So you get a little like rotating piece here that can go up and down 360 degrees if you want to do that and they're clicky. Uh, you also articulate this way, up and down. And then also this uh, um, articulates up and down like this or in and out, depending on how you want to do it. This also articulates the spin and then these also spin. And then same thing on the other side. So I like this. And then you get this other piece here. If you're going to have them stand like in a vanilla pose and just have them straight up, which I might do with the other one. Whereas this one, I'll have them look like he's flying like the other one is in the other MCU villain shelf. So how you would do that, let's plug this onto him real quick. Boom. So that's what he would look like with that on. I think it goes in like this. So there's like these pieces here, these little tabs. You kind of want to slide it in between them like that. And then that's how it should look. And then, yeah. And it should be able to hold him up like that without him losing balance, which I like a lot. So yeah, cannot find the turbines. I want, haven't been able to find them in a while. But, um, so this is the older one here. And as you can see, the visors are sculpted on there. Uh, the tubing are different. So it's not really like a jet one, whereas this one is like it is, it is because of that little one hose on the side there. And then obviously, um, I don't have the turbines in there, but they were gray, but the sculpt is the same. Uh, the legs are different completely. The feet are the same, but the legs are different. Um, I think the top body sculpt is the exa same exact thing, just recolored with this one. So this one's like a tar darker tint. So if you want to do like a night sequence, if you're going to do a stop motion, maybe use this or something. I'm not sure. And yeah. I don't like how the feet look on this guy, really. And to give you, to tell you what happened, this is what my sister did. She kind of did this with it and kind of just kind of messed with it too much. And then, yeah, articulation is the same with this. And yeah, it's just a basically a repaint with the gum, but also they added in the gauntlets here and the brand new leg pieces here for him. So, but like I said, Highly recommend this one over this, uh, the build a figure. I think this is way better than the build a figure. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really got. If you guys want to check out my TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check out my link tree in the description. But besides that, thanks for watching.